what is up mousetrap gang welcome back to another video hope you guys enjoyed uh two videos before i didn't drop yesterday but i joined yesterday's uh video clips and today's uh clips into one video man and today you're gonna see me wrapping this panel right here came out pretty good uh stay tuned subscribe to the channel if you like car audio builds uh upholstery man we do a little bit of everything because uh car audio consists of like woodworking you know upholstery and all kinds of stuff so definitely stay tuned for, and watch the full video uh, subscribe to the channel if you're a base head car audio lover you know a builder lover um definitely hit like you know if you like this video drop some comments and let me know what's good and stay tuned we're gonna get back to silverado build on monday man but for now let's get to the video And look, check this out. Amazon just pulled up. Yeah, so this one doesn't really have much. It has some stuff in it, but not the stuff that we actually really need like that. This actually has some other stuff that I ordered for my little girl's birthday party too. And I just went ahead and ordered some stuff that we can already start to rack up. Let me show you what Amazon brought us. Like I said, it's not much, but it's some stuff because it's better to buy some stuff as you go than having to buy everything all at one shot. The very first thing, man, I bought some ferros. That's what they call them. You see, because I want to be able to have good solid contact with every single thing that we do. Uh, we got 8 gauge ones, uh, 4 gauge, 8 gauge, and everything. And we're going to put ferros on um, power wire. Uh, remote wire, primary wire, speaker wire, all that stuff so we can get good solid connections. And I'm going to start getting into doing these things. Um, the next package, I actually ordered some heat shrink that's like red and black so you know we can know which one's uh, you know, positive, negative, and all that stuff. But these are very good to have. So I'm doing the ferrules and I'm actually doing those double, um, I forgot what the actual name of it is. Um, so it's like dual arc gauge into the amp power input, you know. But we're going to put the ferrules on it so when we uh, screw it down, I man, it makes a solid connection that is ready, ready to rock and roll because I want double odd gauge ran into that 5K that we're going to do in there. Okay, next. Uh, we just got some like quick primary wire. This is for like our EQ and just like simple and relays and stuff like that. Uh, and I want to be able to power up pretty good. And let's do this. So this is 16 gauge, you know. For our EQ and relay, you know, it's going to be pretty good. Power and ground, like I said, so we can know it's what. We have Sky High 20-foot uh, OFC RCA. Uh, I don't know what we're going to use it for. I mean, RCAs, I already know what we're going to use it for, but we need RCAs. So we got a one, two RCAs, and three RCAs. That's front rear and sub and I think on the next box I got a six foot one that I'm doing from like the audio control piece uh, coming out of the audio control piece to the EQ and these are running from the EQ back to the crossover and then you know oh yeah I need to order another set RCA's that goes from the crossover to the amp so the good thing that we're doing. So, let's see we got 10 gauge uh, speaker wire that we are going to do for the subs you know we got that right here good nice thick stuff like i like this i use this i forgot for what build that i use and this is very good stuff this is right before you get to eight gauge i think this should be pretty good for the 412s that we're doing it's good monster again it's a whole nother day and yesterday um i didn't get to work on the truck or on my door panels because man look look at all that rain and this is right across the street but for now man let's, let's take a drive and i'm gonna go get this vinyl and get that stuff done so actually right here we're fixing to pull up to the spot where we go get the vinyl at this place is not it's not open to the public like you have to have like your tax id your business license and all that stuff but you know we've maintained good relationships with people and we've been able to get material here to be able to provide the best material for our uh, people that we do stuff for we got our material 
see. Oh yeah, perfect. Very perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and actually take a picture of this other stuff and then I'll be right back. So we got our vinyl right there in the back. Stick with the video, we're gonna go wrap this panel and I'll get back with you when I get to the crib and settle in. All right, we made it back to the house. So this is all the stuff that we are gonna use today. The glue, like I said, we just cleaned out our glue gun. Stapler, we may not even use that guy. We got our heat gun just in case. Um, the vinyl and the panel. Just so we know that um, the glue bonds to it pretty good with our surface prep, we're just gonna wipe down the whole panel real quick. Okay, since it is plastic and we are putting glue on it, uh, we're gonna get our plastic adhesive promoter on it just so we know that our glue sticks to it really badass. So our plan of attack is we're just gonna do like sections at a time. So I am gonna glue this side, and I'm gonna glue this side, and then I'm gonna pull the vinyl out tight, um, and then lay it down, and then work our way from this way, going out, so it can all be done as one, and we can just flip that guy over, glue the back of it, and I'll do everything at once in the back. Okay, so this is what it should look like. You see like it's covered with the yellow, it's like contact cement, so it has to have glue on both sides. And we'll just let it tack up for like five more minutes, and then we can start wrapping it up. Okay, so now, look, you see it? It's already ready. So now we're just gonna fold over this side of the vinyl and glue that up. It's raining already. And so I actually flipped over the panel. We got one area that we still need to glue, but we're waiting for the glue to tack up just a little bit more, and then it'll be ready. But before we do that, man, we're just gonna overlap these. I already glued them. That area and right there area, right here, right here, I'm just gonna staple it with a upholstery stapler. I'm gonna back down the pressure so I don't blast holes to it. All right, so I think it's just a matter of cutting these holes out and I think we're ready to rock and roll and this thing is done. So I'm actually gonna get a fresh blade so I have nice smooth cuts. Push the vinyl down and just have at it. Alright, thanks to our armor all, man, we got it shining up pretty good. Man, nice little panel, came out good. It is ready to go back on the truck. So it basically goes like that, it's gonna go on the back of the truck like this. See what I'm saying? I can just put this, and it goes up just like that. You see it? Not bad, not bad. Not bad for some stuff that we do here in the backyard and it's raining. See what I'm saying? Hopefully this video can give you a good uh, light on how to wrap some stuff up. Man, it's good. I like it. We got good material on it, good vinyl, good glue, all that stuff. Man, this thing's gonna look badass in the truck. We're actually done for today, man. I'm gonna go catch a shower. I gotta start cutting a little bit of hair, then I gotta go pick up my little girl from school. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it clips from yesterday's video. Uh, man, and you know, tomorrow, we'll see what tomorrow comes in store. Uh, but definitely come Monday, man, we're gonna get back on the grind with uh, the Silverado build. Like I said, we're gonna try to finish up all the door panels, the, well, the two front door panels 
up this week so they're ready to wrap the following Monday. So in two weeks, man, we have to wrap. And then once we get the doors wrapped and put back on the truck, then it's just a matter of assembly. The top piece of the box is nothing. Uh, cutting out a brace is nothing. Um, if we can get all the woodwork done, I mean, even if we pull one good or two solid nights working, you know, till midnight um, on the truck, man, you know, we can get a lot done. So then we can rest the first, the, like the two days right before the show and make sure to work out any bugs that we have to, but we're definitely going to make it, man. So subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that like button, let me know what you guys think of the panel, and we're out.